All right, so <laughs> let me explain something. So when I was a kid, I used to build Toyota Supras with my grandfather. Not actual real ones, but these plastic ones. So this was the first one that he and I built. Obviously a Fast and the Furious kit that you could buy. And I just remember these things being super tedious. But the other thing I remember was like every time I would go over to my grandfather's, he'd always make me a grilled cheese sandwich and potato chips. So that was, I showed you the one that he and I built. And then after he passed away, I built this one, which I know it's a little dusty and you may not be able to see the clear difference, but you know, this is the first one I did. And then this is one that I did after I kind of got better at it. Like back then I didn't, I never thought I'd have like any of the stuff that I have today. So it's pretty crazy going from these plastic models to owning the things that you always dreamed about as a kid. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty intense emotion. You know, it, it's unfortunate he never got to see me race, but I know he'd be proud from wherever he is. So, wow, this is a little tougher than I thought. Anyway, if that wasn't obvious to you, I bought a brand new A90 Toyota Supra that is blue, that kind of looks like this one. And I am just super pumped on it. So, yeah, I mean, again, it's it's crazy. You go from being a kid playing with plastic models to, you know, having the real thing. And it's incredible, honestly. So I am so excited just to have it. There's not any crazy plans with it. Just, I've never really had a nice daily before. I've driven the same car since I was 16. And I've been driving my truck around because my normal daily driver has uh, no AC. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna put some PPF on it from Stack and potentially some other things from partners. But what I definitely am gonna do is go to the NASA track day. So that's something that any new Toyota, whether you buy a new GR86 or GR Supra, it comes with a free track day. And I've never actually driven a track, you know, grip drove a track before in a full size car. So I'm really excited to do that with the car, but otherwise I'm just gonna enjoy it. Like I've driven it around a little bit and we're about to go look at it, but it's just really nice to have such a, you know, brand new car that has a bunch of nice features and amenities. I mean, I, I will say I have a lot of great, awesome race cars, but those things are not comfortable. You know, you're sweating in them constantly. They're super loud. They would be awful to drive around on the street in. And this thing is just very modern. It has all those modern amenities and luxuries from Toyota. So again, really uh, fortunate to be able to do so. And the only reason I'm even able to buy this is because I had an investment realized this year. So my day job, private equity, I made an investment a couple of years ago into a food business that then did a dividend recap. So it meant that they basically borrowed a bunch of money to pay off existing debt. And then they also did a dividend to shareholders. So I was fortunate enough to be one of those shareholders, very small piece. So that was where the idea of being able to buy the Supra came from. And it's always been kind of on my list, but has never been a priority. And it wasn't until now that I've been able to realize that. So I'm gonna enjoy the sandwich and then we'll go check out the car. All right, so here it is, my A90 Supra. Of course I had to get it in blue because that is my color and obviously has a lot of styling characteristics that make it very similar to the Mark IV, but just kind of that upgraded version since it's not a 30 year old car. So right off the bat, we have 19 inch wheels with Michelin Pilot Sports, and then these awesome Brembo brakes that are Toyota Supra badge. So four piston in the front, unfortunately only two piston in the rear, but still really solid pedal feel is amazing. So for the engine, we have the B58, which is a BMW motor, of course, single turbo, around 382 horsepower from the factory. If not a little bit more, it feels really fast. Some interesting strut tower braces here and here. And overall, obviously it's just brand new, lots of electronics on this car, which is something that I'm not super used to um, from all of my race cars being wired like a race car. So obviously fake Toyota badge here. It's really a BMW motor, but I mean, these motors are definitely the way of the future. The 2JZ, the 1JZ, love that motor, of course, but the thing's 30 years old, come on. It's not anywhere near as good as what the B58 is gonna be in the next couple of years. 
I don't know if I'm gonna figure that one out myself though, because again, this is gonna be just a regular daily driver for me. It feels really nice, it sounds amazing. Inline six turbos, despite me driving an LS in all of the drifting stuff that I do, I really love these motors for the way they sound, the way the boost kicks in. It's really, really fun car to drive. So one interesting feature about this car is that there's no spare tire. So instead of a spare tire, they give you this tire inflator kit along with this fluid that I don't really know how this works, but apparently you're supposed to shove it into the wheel and then inflate it. And then it's some sort of like liquid cement type thing. And then it gets, gets you kind of back on the road, but kind of interesting. Hopefully I'll never need to use that, of course. All right, so welcome to the interior of the Toyota Supra. Right off the bat, we have some really modern amenities like a heads up display, which is really cool, kind of needs to get used to. I know they've existed for years and like the old S13s have them, but this is a different level. This modern dash look and feel is awesome. You can press like this BC button to determine what your fuel consumption is, how many miles a car has. You can toggle back and forth. I honestly think this thing has just so many buttons I have like not even explored most of them, but I have explored the sport mode. So sport mode right here, you press it and the car basically becomes the best version of itself. So it tunes the suspension, the engine, the transmission, everything to be the best version, which does not necessarily mean the most fuel efficient version, but it means the highest performance package that this car offers. And it is just a blast to drive, as we'll figure it out in a couple of minutes. But I did want to take some time to show all of these menu features that, again, I'm just really not used to. I think it's really cool. It has Apple CarPlay and navigation and all of this really fun stuff. So that is kind of the interior in a nutshell. It does feel a little cramped if you were taller than I am and I'm not very tall, I'm like 5'9". So I'm not really used to having my head be above the windows or the top of the window, but it's perfect for me and this car feels awesome. No back seats as you may have noticed, but not really a problem that I have to worry about. All right, let's go drive this thing because it is so much fun to just drive.